Hi guys, so I'm going to answer one of your questions today about how I wrote my children's opera. As you can see it's all a bit chaotic in here, so first of all I'm going to bring you up to speed on my house move. I've got the piano being moved tomorrow and then on Thursday I've got a guy coming to move everything else. So I really need to start getting stuff in boxes. They should be here any minute. But you know, I've got some customers, you know, they're regular, they're moving like, you know, yeah. every, every year or something. Yeah. Well, I'm planning to stay in this place now for a long time. Uh... <laughs> so we're just getting stuff out of the van. There's a little bit of concern that it's going to be too tight to get it in through the doorway. So we're going to see. That is pretty impressive. Bill, you're a master at getting things tessellated. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, hello yeah, guys. So, uh, yes. Hello, yeah, so, hi. So this is Will. It's Will. Yeah. So we just finished our move. So yeah. I help for James here. Yeah, so. And you did a fantastic job. Really I'm so pleased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can't recommend this guy enough. Okay, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Great. James. Thanks, yeah. I've decided I've got so many boxes in there that I'm going to come and do this outside in my lovely new garden. Okay, I have just spent 20 minutes looking for my tripod base plate. I can't find it, it's because I've moved house. It's going to be kind of evening sunlit, handheld, Terence Malick style, and you get a bit of my garden. Okay, so Chris asked me, I need to check what Chris's actual question was, and he asked about my children's opera. How did you approach the task of composing the music? I'd love to know as I'm currently working on a theatrical play for children. Thanks in advance. Well, thanks a lot for asking, Chris. So I'm going to tell you about a couple of things I did before I wrote any of the notes of the piece. And I'm doing that because actually I couldn't have written any of the music if I hadn't done this initial step. So I hope this is going to be useful for you, Chris, and anyone else who's watching. The first thing I did was that I was obsessed with figuring out how to tell the story. Now I knew the story, it's a medieval legend which I was using, so I didn't have to come up with the story myself, but I needed to work out how I was going to tell the story, and I found myself practicing telling the story lots and lots of times, and I told it on lots of different scales, so telling it for example in a sentence as someone I just met, or to telling it in a kind of a five minute little sort of narration to various friends, family. Each time I did this it was kind of refining in my mind how I was going to tell the story in the music. So the second thing I did was kind of linked to that. As I gradually refined the story, I started doing a kind of musical mood board for the piece. And I created a playlist of tracks which were kind of setting out in my mind the sort of emotions, feelings that I wanted to generate as I told the story. I've got my phone here so I can tell you about the playlist. None of the tracks on the playlist necessarily sound like the music that I wrote, so it's not kind of to do with uh, like copying or anything, but it was really to do with like creating the emotional weight, a kind of emotional measure of how the story was going to go. So I've got it here, hold on. Um, I mean it's all kinds of weird things. No, don't see that. It's got stuff from films, Madagascar and the Lion, 
Stephen King, Bach, songs by America, Aerosmith, Wagner, Frank Sinatra. It's all kinds of, it's a weird sort of mishmash of stuff. I don't think if you listen to the children's opera you would necessarily hear any of that stuff, but it was just to try and create the kind of emotional pacing. I've got this deck up here as well, which is quite fun. Um, Chris, that's only answered half of your question because I haven't talked about how I wrote any notes. I think that's probably enough for one episode though. What I will do, I'll make this part one of answering your question. Next vlog, next Sunday, I will answer the rest of it and then I will talk about some notes. If you've enjoyed this video then please do subscribe to my channel. There's a vlog about my composing life every Sunday night and I will see you soon.